My name is David Espy. Uh, I uh, was employed as special agent with the FBI from 1987 to 2011. Uh, held various positions to include evidence response team leader, polygraph examiner, counterintelligence agent, and uh, chief security officer. I had been a police officer in Washington, D.C., and also a special agent with the National Security Agency, and I was a senior polygraph examiner with the National Security Agency. So I had a, a good academic and experience background to make me a, a good uh, choice for a recruit uh, into the FBI. I enjoyed uh, every minute of Quantico. I enjoyed the education environment. One of my master's degrees in education, and during the time of my career with the FBI, I conducted training throughout the United States and the world. The FBI has done a great job in organizing the curriculum of the FBI Academy. It warrants success, and if you work hard and are dedicated, you'll do very well. Uh, I've served under approximately uh, six presidents during that period of time, met uh, up to at least three of them. In regards to President Reagan, uh, I have great admiration for him. I was fortunate to have the honor of being part of his protection detail. Uh, following his shooting, his first public appearance at the Library of Congress in Washington at a dinner uh, hosted by Senator Howard Baker. During that period of time, uh, we were able to exchange a few pleasantries together, and that was a great honor and uh, a memory I'll never forget. I became interested in a position with the FBI uh, really related to my father's uh, history in law enforcement. He was a former colonel of the Kentucky State Police. I would go with him to the uh, State Police headquarters and to be able to see the laboratory and so forth. As corny it may sound, uh, like me and other agents, uh, we developed a fondness for the FBI and a, a choice to, to uh, have that career. Watching the FBI with F.M. Zimbalist Jr., um, we saw within that television series a professional thoroughness, dedication, and the use of intellect. As an FBI agent today, more than ever, you have to be worldly, you have to have a global view of what the challenge is. If you're an agent in Baltimore, you need to know what's going on in Los Angeles, uh, Pretoria, South Africa, Moscow. You hear about the global economy, but you have the global uh, criminal network involved, whether it's white collar crime and, or terrorism. Again, you have to take the time and not be caught up in tunnel vision. You have to open your eyes to what the world's challenge is presented today, and it's very expansive.